So one more video before I start my day. Um, let's see. It has to do with our tendency to want to please people, our tendency to want to always be of service, and our tendency to always want to um, interfere. <laughs> um, as I get older, and I think this comes with maturity, but I've noticed that the best way you can help someone is by empowering them, not trying to do it for them, not trying to save them, not trying to make it comfortable for them. I think we do these things because it makes us feel comfortable. You know what I mean? I might have made a video on this, but it's really good to revisit topics so you can implement them more but yeah i i noticed like i have a it's almost like an innate impulse to want to help people nothing wrong with that but as i get older and as i move through my lessons i realize that you know instead of acting on these impulses it's it's best to just kind of like sit on the sideline and let people be and let people do, you know, because if you're constantly trying to save people and you're constantly trying to be of service, it can ultimately become a disservice to them and to yourself because you're taking on other people's weight. You're taking on other people's baggage instead of teaching them and empowering them to do it themselves. Very simple. It's, I think the hard part is learning to retrain the brain to function in a way where you just kind of like don't do anything. You just allow everyone to be, you allow them to experience life through their lens and you allow them to do it on their own. And instead of like jumping in, which I was accustomed to doing, um, I've been teaching myself to recognize the impulse to help. And I think it's because we created an identity around ourselves. And that's not only that, we're, we're hypersensitive. So, you know, we have a tendency to, you know, feel the feelings of others. And so if someone else is feeling distress or discomfort, we want to take away the distress and discomfort. So it makes us feel better, you know, but it's not helping anyone. Um, I've gotten into the habit of feeling the impulse um, and just kind of like becoming the objective observer, offering help when asked versus just imposing myself. And if somebody needs help, you know, they need to learn to ask for help. I know I had to learn because I've become pretty self-sufficient and, you know, I consider myself pretty independent to the point where I think it's, it, it was pretty unhealthy because it's like, no, I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. But then I was exhausting myself, you know? So I've gotten into the habit of doing the opposite of what I would normally do. So um, I've gotten into the habit of asking for help, being open to receiving help knowing that um, there's satisfaction in allowing someone to help you and also satisfaction in, you know, empowering others and letting them know that they can do it themselves, you know, instead of you doing it for them, instead of you cleaning up their mess, you know, just, just let them make the mess, you know, and if they need your help, then they can learn to ask for help you know, or they can learn to do it on their own. So that's my little tidbit for today. I just wanted to impart that um, stream of thought that I had going on in my mind at the time. But um, again, thank you for watching. I hope you're having a beautiful day or night, wherever you are. Um, blessings to one and all. Amen.